Hi, this is Fraser from MakeArtPrintable.com. I'm just going to show you a really cool trick that um, saves you a lot of time in InDesign when you're doing data mergers. Actually, it's not in InDesign, it's in uh, Excel or um, the spreadsheet program in OpenOffice. So you're going to try and um, merge some data into some artwork and your clients have supplied you with an email and they've just written out their email and they've hit a name um, and they've hit enter so every piece of data is on a new line like this so that's a phone number then an address so they're putting their data um, kind of vertically downwards so another one address and then this is their email and this is their website but um, as you know you need to to do a data merge you need all their data not down in a column you need it across in a row like this with the names up here so name uh, last name those are the tags to merge into your um, uh, InDesign document. So phone, address, address, and uh, email, website. So um, your client supplies you with thousands of pieces of data that are all supplied vertically like this, and you need them across in a row like that, and that can take hours to do and um, cause lots of mistakes. So um, this is how you get your column into a row format. Um, all you do is you highlight it, you copy, you put your cursor in the first cell that you want the first um, piece of data to show up in and you say paste special in Excel and then down in the dialog that shows up, it's the paste special dialog, there's a transpose and that's the trick. Paste it in and paste it across and you're set up for a data merge in InDesign. Um, same thing thing in uh, what's this other program called um, open office the spreadsheet in open office there you go um, let's try it so I'll, I'll put the cursor here I get a paste special and I get a dialog box like this it doesn't actually work because what you have to do and this is the same in Excel you have to paste it in to that program first as a column then it's in that program's formatting then you can copy it or cut it put it in the cell that you want paste special and that dialog look, looks a little different paste special dialog and then transpose is on and I just press OK and there we go that's in uh, open office so that's an awesome trick um, I had a huge job with thousands and thousands of rows of data and um, that saved me hours I did it in 10 minutes or something and no one knew how I did it so there you go have fun and uh, let me know uh, how it goes thanks bye